students may be singing songs from the Broadway smash hit Hamilton as they head back to school. The musical was the main attraction at many summer camps across the country. Nancy Cordes visited with some so-called Hamill kids to see what they learned. She is at the National Portrait Gallery in Washington. Nancy, your singing uh, was, was very good. We were enjoying that. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to say that, Jeff, but I, I appreciate it. Uh, I, I, do, I do enjoy it. Uh, it's become a family pastime. Um, and here at the Portrait Gallery, if this portrait in particular looks familiar to you, it's because it's the one on the $10 bill. Uh, but for most kids, they wouldn't have had much interest in this man or in the time period uh, until recently, until uh, the musical Hamilton gave them a soundtrack and a story that brought the nation's founding to life. Two years in, it's still the hottest ticket on Broadway. But Hamilton is also firing up young imaginations far from New York City, in places like Kansas City, Laguna Beach, and Chicago, where the musical has kids singing and dancing their way back in time. Many of them have never seen the show, but they still know every word. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman, Lafayette. We met middle schoolers Teresa, Zach, and Catherine at Imagination Stage in Bethesda, Maryland, where kids were clamoring this summer for a spot in Hamilton Dance Camp. I saw on the list Hamilton Dance, and immediately I was like, Mom, I want to be in that camp. On a scale of one to 10, how obsessed would you say you are with Hamilton? Um, 11. I was gonna say 11, but <laughs> I'd go more like 11 and a half. <laughs> I have to agree with them, 11. I actually got my dad into it, and he actually started learning the history of Alexander Hamilton. So we like discuss it together. Push it. That passion makes teaching to Hamilton a joy and sometimes a challenge for dance instructor Ashley McKinnon. As soon as we finish one song for choreography, they immediately start singing the next song according to the soundtrack. It's like, guys, we're not there yet. It's all music to the ears of Hamilton creator Lynn Manuel Miranda. Miranda, who Kale, told director. CBS this morning in 2016 really that teaching history has become part of the musical's core mission. What's exciting is we've got 20,000 students uh, coming to see this show over the course of the next yeah, year. It's the uh, yeah, and and one of the things that's part of the curriculum when they come to the show is they're creating performance pieces based on other histories. Incredible, incredible. Miranda started a program called EduHam with 13,000 kids in New York. It will reach more than 250,000 students over the next five years. December 19, 1777, my men lived in hell, what a nice in heaven. Bringing an intensive Hamilton-themed history curriculum to kids all over the country as the musical continues its U.S. tour. I think Lynn, Miranda, and Hamilton have presented us with an opportunity that we must not lose. Historian Jim Basker helps oversee Eduham. The founding era can seem to many students today like castor oil. Um, take it, it's good for you. But with the help of Hamilton, our students are finding it the most wonderful era to dive into and to take ownership themselves. The only thing I knew about Alexander Hamilton was that he was on the back of the $10 bill. That's all a lot of people knew. In fact, a lot of people thought he was president. Yeah, but yeah. he wasn't. A case of art illuminating life. My history teacher, she had the Common Sense book by Thomas Paine, mm -hmm. and then I was like, wait, don't they mention that in the song? I've been reading Common Sense by Thomas Paine. So I'm gonna say that I'm intense, that I'm insane. You want a revolution, I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that I'm not created equal. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna tell him to include, include women in the sequel. We have found Hamilton-themed camp programs in at least a dozen states, and many of them told us that they're actually planning to expand their offerings next summer to meet public demand. And uh, based on personal experience, Gail, I can tell you that uh, the love that these kids, including the Cordis kids, have for this show doesn't appear to subside much over time, and we haven't even seen the show yet. 
Oh my I gosh, know. Your that's kids what's are so, so amazing. Cute. Your kids are really, really cute, Nancy. That's what's so amazing. Even though the kids haven't seen the play, they love the music, and this makes them really want to go. Yeah. Nicely done, Nancy Cordes right. and the Cordes kids.